Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angie Walker, and please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is monday september 20th 2021 now let's take a brain break with miss merchant and miss marcos hey miss merchant have you ever broken a bone before yes i actually have and do you know how that bone healed no well actually you have special cells in your body called osteoblast cells these cells form bones and repair bones if you ever break a bone there are different types of bone fractures, but the most common are called simple bone fractures. Wow, Ms. Marcos, that was interesting. I hope I never break a bone again. Now, can I show you this week's SEL technique? Is it another breathing technique? You bet it is. This week's technique, we will be using different shapes to help us breathe. This simple breathing technique is called triangle breathing. It can help reduce stress and improve our moods. Watch us this time and then you will have a chance to practice it right after. Step one, start at the bottom left of the triangle. Step two, breathe in through your nose for three counts as you trace up the side of the triangle. Step three, hold your breath for three counts as you trace down the other side of triangle. Step four, breathe out through your mouth for three counts as you go along the bottom of the triangle back to the starting point. Now, let's try it one more time without the visual. Step one, start at the bottom left of the triangle. Step two, breathe in through your nose for three counts as you trace up the side of the triangle. Step three, hold your breath for three counts as you trace down the other side of the triangle. Step four, breathe out through your mouth for three counts as you go along the bottom of the triangle back to the starting point. Miss Marcos, how do you, do you feel? You know what, this was fun and relaxing at the same time. Good. Well, bye boys and girls. Stay tuned for next week's SEL technique and health fact of the week. Now back to Anjali. Bye! Thank you, Ms. Merchant and Ms. Marcos. Now let's go to Valencia for our Hispanic Heritage segment. Thank you, Angeli. Leonel Andres Messi, also known as Leo Messi, was born June 24, 1987. He is an Argentinian professional soccer player who plays as a forward for Paris Saint-Germain and captains the Argentina national team. Lionel Messi plays for the FC Barcelona club and the Argentina national team. Messi was diagnosed with a growth hormone disorder, or GHD. At the age of 13, Messi moved to, from Argentina to Spain after FC Barcelona agreed to pay for his medical treatments. Now that's a true story of triumph. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Sports fans, it's that time again. Welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today's edition is about the tennis racket. Centuries ago, the game of tennis started with French monks who hit balls with their hands. Obviously, that was uncomfortable, so they moved to using gloves and then solid wooden paddles. In 1874, the first racket in rules of an outdoor lawn game was formed. The rackets were made of wood and much heavier than they are today. Over time, they evolved to lighter and smaller frames made of metals, graphite, and ceramics. The monks would be very impressed with how it's going. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is pizza to first, marinara to bring sauce, mixed vegetables, applesauce, and good choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Boy, we'll eat. Thank you, Chanel and Destiny. Patriots, tomorrow, Tuesday, September 21st, is our first family night. This family night will be at Menchie's. It starts at 4 p.m. and ends at 7 p.m. 
20% of your purchase will be donated to help support our school. Make sure you mention Renaissance Charter School at Pines, and I hope to see you there. Also, Patriots, progress reports are going out today. I hope you all get the graves you were hoping for. Calling all Super Patriots. Join us on our mission to reach our iReady goals for quarter one. You need to get a minimum of 25 past lessons for reading and math. The top three students in kindergarten to second, third to fifth, and sixth to eighth who meet their goals in both reading and math will be celebrated. And lastly, parents come join us in our Parent Academy. It starts on Wednesday, 23rd, 2021, and this is where parents can learn how to use Schoology for PowerSchool. Now let's go to David to see what the weather's going to be like today. Thank you, Angeli. Hey, Patriots. It looks like today's weather is going to be colder than before at 88 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Now, in other weather news, researchers are saying eruptions may be happening on Mars. On a section of Mars, people call Arabi Terra, are blasts releasing massive amounts of ash and toxic gases that can affect the planet's atmosphere for decades. Now let's go to Yozdani for today's birthdays. Thank you, David. Today's birthday girls and boys are Keandria Dawson, Talia Malcolm, Diana Nichols, Stephanie James, and Raul Vargas. Happy birthday, and let's go back to Angela. Scholars, here are your Pat's expectations. They represent present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Silvera, Miss Onley, and Miss June. You had the correct answer to, tr to Friday's trivia question, which was, which animal has the largest eyes? Answer, the giant squid. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia questions. How many noses does a slug have? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday, and don't forget this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!